Welcome back guys, I hope you're all doing amazing. If you're new, make sure to like and subscribe. Sorry, I look pretty out of it. I am currently in the middle of working on my truck. Um, it's for a separate video, but I want to record me opening this just because, I don't know, it's exciting to open things. So, I got a tuner for the truck. It is brand new in the package. I was gonna go with one of the Quadzilla ones, um, but they're like, kind of a pain in the ass to install they're not really like it's not the end of the world you can do it like in under an hour at your house by yourself but you have to tap wires and do all that stuff and i don't really like doing that stuff um especially when it comes to the fuel system of the truck that makes me kind of nervous and a lot of the reviews were saying like the quadzilla adrenaline um because that's the one i was originally going to get it pushes the vp injection pump on these trucks a lot harder and they're already known for being somewhat of a weak link. If they get warm, they overheat and they, they prematurely fail. So I didn't really want to put a lot of extra strain on the truck just to tune it and make it a little more enjoyable and get better fuel mileage um, and be more responsive. So the Smarty SO3 is the one I got. It's for 24 valve, uh, 98 and a half to 02. And um, this one, you just plug right into the OBD2 port and uh, you just tune it just like that. So yeah, here it is. It comes in a nice little package. I really should have set up my tripod here, so I'm not doing this with one hand, but nice little briefcase looking thing here. And uh, yeah, there's our little briefcase. Smarty SO3. Truck is wicked dirty. And voila. So first things first, Smarty Performance King, number one in Dodge Cummins Performance. I'd like to personally thank you for purchasing your new Smarty Tuner. I've dedicated the last 14 years of my life to ensure we are providing you with the very best tuning available for your Dodge Ram. I hope you enjoy using our products as much as I do. Have fun, but also please be careful. Take care. That's our first page. Oh wow, if we have any questions, they give us customer service paper with their uh their number that's pretty sweet and here is the goodie itself here's the tuner it says right on the back how you do everything what some of the lights on the dash could mean or some of the codes and then here is our actual tuner paper it tells you what all the levels mean and what they do This is a liability disclaimer paper. And here's like the main manual to tell you everything, how to do it. And there is the plug that goes into the back of the tuner and into your OBD2 port. So that is all the goodies. I am going to get ready to plug it in and we can see what we can do here. on position. I plugged it in. Okay, so you're gonna go one and then one again to connect to truck. Okay, so it's present stock. Choose a catcher, press a number key. Um nine. Okay, that's it. I just clicked nine and it is currently downloading number nine. Programming, please wait. We're at 9%, 11%, 12%. That goes pretty fast. And we pretty much just wait for that. You just select whichever one. I obviously just did the biggest one because I want to see the most difference right off the bat when I drive the truck. So I did number nine. Updating PCM, update done. So I, okay, unplug Smarty and turn key off. Okay. Unplug Smarty. Off. So we should now be tuned. I believe so. Let's go give it a test drive. Oh my god, is it 
gets smokier. Holy crap, guys. Oh my god, it's never puked that much smoke in its life. well you guys could tell in the video um but that that is drastically different like i said um very happy with the amount of power that, that tuner puts out but it is actually a little too much for my truck at the moment um which kind of surprised me because everyone on the internet told me that it the tuner kind of just wakes the truck up and doesn't really do that much um but in reality, it was pushing the truck so hard, actually, that I'm pretty sure I felt my clutch slip a couple times. And, um, yeah. So, I'm going to build the clutch and the rear end in the truck before I put it back in that tuner. As of right now, I just put it back in, like, half power so that the truck not only gets... Well, there's a fuel saver mode, but for some reason, I can't get the truck to go into it. And every time I try to load the fuel saver uh, program right now, it just keeps putting it back in tune 9. So... I put it in half power right now, so it still drives the same. I can still accelerate and like, it's not an inconvenience for driving around, getting places. It's just not like really powerful and it doesn't blow a lot of smoke. So I'll just get better fuel mileage, but I'm going to keep it pretty mellow in the truck until I do the clutch in the rear end, just so I know the truck can handle everything. Then we'll put it back in the big tune. Um, other than that, I'll basically put it in the tune nine just for like videos with smoke, I guess, if I want to do like TikTok videos or Instagram videos. But yeah, so I am extremely happy with the tuner. A lot of people talked him down. Um, absolutely would get this one again if I had the, the opportunity to get a different one. I wouldn't. I would stick with this. It's easy. Um, it was like the same price as all the other ones. Wicked easy to do. Wicked fast. You can change tunes in like two minutes. Um, obviously, it's not like an on-the-fly thing, but it's a lot faster than some other non-on-the-fly tuners. We have to bring them in, do this, do that, wait 10 minutes for it to reboot, like... It is pretty quick, um, and yeah, a lot of different options. There's uh, like nine or ten different uh, levels. Yeah, very good tuner. Very, very happy with it. Would recommend, absolutely. <laughs> 